Hello, I'm Super Orange Cat here, and with a Tanami News update for this May 11th, 2021. First, let's look at the ratings. First, before the block, I have to point out that Final Space got a 0.13 this week. Now, at the top of the block, starting with the top, Dragon Ball Super at a 0.09, My Hero Academia at a 0.08, Food Wars at a 0.09, The Promised Neverland at a 0.08, Fire Force's Finale at a 0.09, Black Clover at a 0.08, Narita ship it in at a point zero seven and attack on Titan as a rerun at a point zero six. As you can hear see here, these are horrible numbers. This is probably I don't even need to look. I'm pretty sure even including marathons, this is the lowest rated week in the entire history of the block. And there's one very obvious, very simple explanation that can be given for this, and that is it happened to be at the same time as Elon Musk was on Saturday Night Live. Now, this was the far away, I think the highest rated Saturday Night Live episode in six years. If you're wondering what that episode was, the one beforehand that had the highest record was the Donald Trump episode back in 2015, if you remember. And again, I didn't really watch much of that episode. I was kind of in and out. I didn't really like it. A lot of people are pointing out like the Wario sketch, like that's become a meme already of Elon Musk dressed as Wario. There was one about Gen Z hospital that made no sense to me. I'm Gen Z technically, and that made no sense to me, you know. And also, there was like one at the end that a lot of people were saying, well, this was good. And it was like the one where it's like, oh, like you have to know specific stuff about Elon Musk to get the jokes and half these sketches. Like, for example, if you didn't know about his proposal to have a tunnel between Las Vegas and L.A., the last sketch with like the whole robbery makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. But again, that's about off topic. Now back to this. And that explains why Final Space only went down slightly to a 0.13 this week. Ultimately, and people are saying this is a win for Final Space. Like, oh no, it's not. Final Space is doing horrible this season in terms of ratings. And only because of brand loyalty Adult Swim really likes having, it will probably get another season if Olin Rogers wants it. But by comparison, Bird Girl is hanging around high teens. I think Bird Girl a couple times even hit 0.2. And that one, I think, will probably ultimately be a safe renewal as well. Although it probably under-hit goals, it was generally kind of a meh reception on that show. But again, I'm getting off topic. Back to Tanami. So again, and you have Dragon Ball Super at 0 0.09. And that's a drop of 0 0.08. That is a loss of virtually half your audience right there. And again, it's hard to point out whether it's just people getting tired of Dragon Ball Super or if it's... Elon Musk dressed as Wario, you know, tanking the block, tanking Dogecoin, you know, and you have My Hero Academia, and that's the interesting thing. This was the season five debut of My Hero Academia on Tanami. It gets a .08. Out of context, this is this would be the most baffling sounding thing you could point out. Like, no, imagine going to someone like four weeks ago before Elon Musk was announced for SNL on this past Saturday, and. Someone told you, oh yeah, My Hero Academia, and told you of a very straight face, My Hero Academia will debut to a point zero eight. You would have thought they were stupid. <laughs> or you thought, oh what, season 35 or whatever. I mean, like I said, My Hero Academia is kind of, I'm going to say you can argue, kind of like One Piece, is kind of hit the Japanese category of being like The Simpsons, where the ratings are kind of, doesn't matter what the ratings are anymore, it's just got a green light as long as they want to keep making it. And I have no idea about the status of the manga of My Hero Academia, whether it's ending or how much is left. It could have already ended. I don't know at this point, you know. Again, and again, if they keep making manga and they keep wanting to adapt it, they're they're going to be able to. It's that huge. It's actually, it's okay size in Japan. It's massive elsewhere. It's one of those things you can argue it's even bigger in the U.S. than it is in Japan. By contrast, you wonder, like, why do they keep making One Piece? One Piece has just always been massive in Japan. And what Japan wants is what the world kind of gets with anime, which is why you'll think like, well, American audiences want this. Why Why is Japan coming out this? Well, you have to understand that Japan is the primary market for anime. The market share in Japan is absolutely massive. Like every, like it, anime could have absolutely no sales in the US or sales elsewhere in the world outside of Japan and it would still probably ultimately make a good bit of money. That's the thing a lot of people don't understand, and that's why anime is still made for a Japanese audience. And if Americans enjoy it, then that's a benefit because they can get in or out of, they can get overseas money. But again, another rant back to Tanami. <laughs> but again, 
kind of a disappointment at point zero eight. But it's hard to say how much actually is due to Elon Musk, how much is just maybe people didn't want to see My Hero Academia on Tanami. But again, this was a show I was hyping up to say this could outrate Dragon Ball Super on a regular basis. And that remains to be seen in the weeks ahead, whether that does. After that, you have Food Wars at point zero nine. Oh, yeah, And that's another thing. I'll point out when I finish mentioning these other shows about how these shows actually compared to each other this week. Food Wars actually building on My Hero Academia, 0 0.09, but still a bad number. Promise Neverland, 0 0.08. Again, down a bit, but everything else was down this week. Fire Force only went down to 100. That can be partially attained to the fact that that SNL episode actually ended at 1 a.m., so Food Wars aired after that SNL episode finished. If you want to be semantic... I would be full of semantics. That episode of SNL technically finished at 1.02 a.m. But again, I think a number of people were probably like, okay, that was good. Let me watch Tanami and just tuned in there. That's probably what that 1.100 was. And then Promise Neverland at 0 0.08. Look, I have a weekly segment where I talk about the Promise Neverland. I'm not going to talk about it much in these, unless there's something I really want to point out. Fire Force season finale. It's going to be interesting. I don't know. I don't... I. I'm going to guess that Fire Force will probably not get a Season 3. Like, I just mentioned how, really, ultimately, sales in Japan, Japan is what decides what anime gets made. That's what the animation studios, anime studios over there, are looking into. And it did horribly in Japan. Oh, Fire Force did reasonably well in the United States. It did horrible in Japan. And I can see them looking at it and thinking that what they did in the U.S. was not enough to justify making another season. I wouldn't be surprised. You have Black Clover after I had a point zero eight. Again, Black Clover is going to do Black Clover things. Naruto shipping in point zero seven, and then Attack on Titan rerunning season four at a point zero six rerun hour. You can't say much about that. So now, you would think which shows in what order do you think how shows went down this week, highest to lowest rated? I can't tell you about Dragon Ball Super because it's not treated as a new show. So it's not put up in the Show Buzz Daily rankings. But in order, you had Food Wars, Fire Force. Wait, no, you had Fire Force, Food Wars, The Promised Neverland, and then My Hero Academia. That is right. My Hero Academia's season five premiere was the fourth highest rated premiere on the night on Tanami. And that's something that a lot of people, definitely me, took for granted. Okay, it's going to be the number one premiering show. Only thing that could possibly have a higher rating, that's Dragon Ball Super. But other than that, it's it's got a much larger appeal than any of these other shows. It's going to have the most people watching. But again, My Hero Academia, 12.30. That SNL episode was still going at that point. So that probably took a chunk of the audience away. Because, let's be honest, a lot of people were going to immediately start talking about the Elon Musk episode. But... You're like, okay, maybe I can just watch the episode of My Hero Academia, DVR it, and watch it tomorrow. You know, that's probably what I'm going to have to start doing with the Promised Neverland with it being shifted to 2 a.m. starting this week. But I digress. And I thought that was just pretty interesting, honestly. But again, Fire Force, the highest rated show of the night. We'll be saying goodbye for it for a while. And another thing, too, is why I think it wasn't entirely the Elon Musk episode that caused the drop in ratings. The rankings, like, comparing to the other cable shows, Tanami, like, Tanami usually fits in, like, every debut except for Naruto Shippuden usually is in the top 50 somewhere. And usually with Attack on Titan, usually hung out somewhere between 11th to 15th, and that would be the highest rated premiere. This week, the highest rated premiere was, of course, Fire Force, and it finished 38th. The other shows, like My Hero Academia, Promise Neverland, and even Black Clover were in the top 50. I think Ship It In finished like 56 or so. And finished lower. So you can still argue, well, it got as many shows still in the top 50, but it's not as highly ranked in the top 50, which might be a long-term problem for Tanami, you know? And again, like, who would have thought going into this week, even knowing what Elon Musk's episode could do to the ratings, it would drop this much? My prediction was that it was probably going to drop, like, oh, everything will just drop two, three hundreds. Like, for example, My Hero Academia will probably debut at, like, a 0 0.15, 0 0.16. And, like, stuff like Food Wars through Fire Force be like, oh, 0 0.12, 0 0.13. It dropped below a 0 0.1. And this is the first and arguably going to be the only time ever you can say every single Tanami show finished below a 0 0.1, you know. And, again, 
Next week, there's going to be another new schedule. And that is because we are getting Dr. Stone Season 2 Stone Wars onto the block at 1 in the morning. So if I recall correctly, the schedule will be Dragon Ball Super at midnight, My Hero Academia at 12.30, Dr. Stone at 1, Food Wars at 1.30, The Promised Neverland at 2, Black Clover at 2.30, Ship It In at 3, and Attack on Titan at 3.30. So that remains to be seen. I believe the next new slot that will be opening up would be The Promised Neverland actually in like six weeks. So we still have a bit of time. It'd be interesting to see what prospects kind of crop up for anime for Toonami to select if they so decide to replace The Promised Neverland. You know, like, for example, some people are talking, still thinking Yashihime might end up on the block. Some people think Jujutsu Kaisen can end up on the block. Those are two of the bigger, more talked about shows in regards to possibly being on Toonami soon. And again, you can't also rule out something like Fina Pirate Princess showing up. Although at this point, the fact we haven't gotten that much news about Fina in a while is starting to look a little scary for when it will air and the fact that we've been told that Uzumaki has got more production delays. So again, maybe we're going to have to wait even longer to get any of the Toonami originals. But what do you guys think? What do you think shows going to replace The Promised Neverland in like six weeks or so? Do you think the shows will improve next week? I think by necessity they will. There's going to be, I think that was the season finale of SNL. I could be wrong. So there's going to be nobody cut off by watching SNL. Honestly, I don't think next week's a big UFC night. I could be wrong on that. What do you guys think? What's your opinions? What show do you think should be on the block next? Leave your comments, leave your opinions down below. I like reading them. I like reading, reading your wacky content. If you like this, if you want more wacky Toonami news content like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. I am the Super Orange Cat, and that is all.